and welcome to What's for Dinner, where we cook up dinner every single day in about half an hour. I'm Ken Caustic, and this is the very blue. Mary Jo Eustace, I just got to look at myself on the monitor. Do I look a bit like a zephyr? No, you look a bit nurse-like. Heifer, that's nice. Somebody <laughs> shouted out heifer. That was <laughs> <laughs> nice. Camera one is never going to work again. It wasn't me. You nurse, don't look like a heifer. Nurse used his check my like rash, a... please. <laughs> anyway, welcome to What's for Dinner. Today we're having a lovely evening. I'm going to be making a crispy shrimpers and peanuts. It's, it's baked shrimp with some cabbage there. I said it. Okay. You know what I'm doing? No. I'm very excited about my dish. I'm doing a vegetarian lasagna with a homemade tomato sauce. Going to do it all in half an hour. Oh, that sounds really yeah. good. Are you going to have any cheese or anything gooey yes, and I'm fattening doing, with it? I'm doing uh, some uh, low-fat mozzarella, oh. and I'm using some cottage cheese. Oh, that sounds so really good. So this works good. out to be very low-fat, but you get that wonderful flavor of lasagna. <laughs> what? Whatever. Did that do it for you? No, it didn't. I might go change my dress. The heifer might go back <laughs> and check the weather. See you in a moment on what's for dinner. Get some feed. <laughs> For dinner. I, feel so bit, I feel a bit better. I went and had a lie down with the rest of the cows in the pasture. <laughs> had a little hay, rolled around a bit, and I'm back to work, you baby. Are, <laughs> we got to get going here. I'm back to work now, for you. Now, you know, I've been told pregnant <laughs> women are very sensitive about their, you know, situation. <laughs> right you know, their yeah. situation. Yeah. I can't even say the word pregnancy. Yeah, okay. yeah. So I'm not going to be making any heifer jokes at all. <laughs> oh, I promise you. I just don't feel very attractive. You do. You look lovely today. Oh, that's not good. What? It's I not. had a pot there. It's right there. No, I, but I, I had another pot that looked like this. Oh, it's moved. It went there. Okay. You go get your pot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to marinate my shrimps in some coconut milk and um, some tamari sauce, fresh gym, ginger breadcrumbs and sesame seeds and then I'm either going to bake my shrimps or fry them I'm not sure which and then I'm going to put them warm on top of like a Napa uh, oriental cabbage salad so that'll be good oh. isn't that so delicious oh. whatever now, I'm just making a very basic tomato sauce and this tomato sauce I'm going to use on my lasagna but you could save it and use it on other pasta and in goes some crushed tomatoes oh and the reason I'm doing this first before I'm cutting up my vegetables is why Hello? What? what? Sorry, I wasn't listening. What did you <laughs> I say? I didn't think you were. No, what, what did you say? The reason I'm doing the sauce first is to make sure that it's cooking and <laughs> all the flavors come through before I start sauteing my vegetables. Right. There you go. Just I've wanted to it. tell you, it's going to rain. Why? <laughs> Everybody was lying down outside. So <laughs> we're going to have a rainstorm. All your friends. <laughs> all my friends. Mabel. Mabel. <laughs> Mabel's a bit upset. Oh, yeah. Tomorrow's she's... her big day. <laughs> She's going to be on your dinner table. <laughs> I, I smell a big steak. <laughs> She's a bit down. Oh. You know. But anyway. Oh, you know what? What? Can you, pic can you picture this at a farm? My Aunt Phyllis's farm? No, I can't. Oh, oh. Do you go there occasionally? Well, you know what? <clears throat> Talking about pregnancy. Yeah. I was there one time when they were testing the cows to see if they were pregnant. <laughs> Do you know how? Do you know how they Did do they it? Do they take home pregnancy tests? It's certainly not one of those little compact things that you, you know, you, uh, <laughs> that you shake. Do you shake it? Well, shake what? You know, when you... <laughs> <laughs> shake what? You know what I mean. You're making I, me say things on air I, that I don't, don't want to say. How did they test if the cows were pregnant? Well, a vet comes. <laughs> right. And he puts on a long glove. <laughs> and that's, that's where it goes. That really... I'll tell you, I didn't know that. Did you know that? Um, I did not know that. And it's not something you want to know. It's not something I want to know right now. <laughs> you know what else I could be today? What? A dental hygienist. Don't you, you could. think a little bit? Yes. Speaking of which, yeah. I'd like to talk to you about your plaque. Yeah. Because you've got <laughs> a lot of action there. Now, I've got my shrimps, and they're, I've taken the shells off of them in my spare time. And I've added my ginger and my garlic. Yeah. I'm going to add a half a cup of coconut milk to this mixture, a uh, half a cup of tamari sauce, Mm -hmm. I've got some sesame oil, some sesame seeds, Kenny K. Right. I'm going to give it a stir roux, 
And then I'm going to marinate uh, my shrimps uh, in that, uh, and then I'm going to roll my shrimps in breadcrumbs. Mama, I know you're a bit sensitive. I'm a bit sensitive. Remove the O <laughs> nose, okay? That's French for get them off my, my board. board. Your French is really paying off, I know, sir. I know. So we're going to marinate these for as long as we can, and then we're just going to roll them in the breadcrumbs. I think I might bake them. Really? Yeah. And then we're oh. going to put them on top of our uh, cabbage, which will be delicious. Now, what I'm doing is I'm preparing my vegetables, and I'm going to saute my vegetables, guess what? In soup stock. In soup stock, <laughs> rather than oil. Do you have and a dried herb mixture today, by the way? No, actually. <laughs> I have a fresh herb mixture today, so there you go. Do you really? But if you really, <laughs> no, if you really want one, I can just whip together a dried herb mixture for you, baby. Oh, <laughs> Do don't be looking at me that way. I just find that's you so <laughs> that's putting me off my lunch. I find you so attracted today. No, you don't. No, I don't. Not after the cow story, because <laughs> you know. I don't want to go there. But no. listen, would you like a nice mixture of dried herbs that I could bring over and you could put on a plate? Okay, okay. Around? You know what I do You could waste 20 minutes of the show. You know what I can do? What? Uh, I can add some dried herbs to my sauce. Tell me what you'd like. Because I only had some chili powder. Tell me what you'd like. And, and you know, whoever put this together for me, they put it like a teensy bit of chili powder. Okay. So I need some more. You need Mexican chili powder. Yeah. Uh, bring me some basil, baby. You need... Some now, does that? I hope I didn't sound chauvinistic when I called you baby. You need some I dried that, basil. What I else do you need? I meant that very endearingly. Is there anything else you need? Uh, oregano. Oregano. Yeah. Oh, sorry, Will. Didn't mean to wake you up. Honey, we're doing a cooking show. Yeah. Mom's on TV. Yeah. Okay, here you go. Thank you. I Thank did that you. for you. Now, as you can see, my shrimps are marinating beautifully, oh. and I'm going to put those in the fridge. Kenny, doesn't that s smell my shrimp? Oh. Doesn't that smell uh. good? Oh my God! Yum! Yum! Yum in your tummy. Yes. Okay. And you're mixing it around with I that spoon. I mixed it around with that spoon. There we go. All right, and now it's going in the fridge. Some oh, it's going to be so good! Can't stand it. There, I said it. Totally excited. Now, are you going to be grilling these? Um, let me just check. I, I, I have a good read. Okay, I'm just let me have a nice read. Have a good read. I just yeah. have to go to the other side. I'm going to bake it. I'm going to bake it Somehow at 375 degrees for Somehow about 12 to 15 that. minutes until it gets nice and crispy. Right. Now, I've got some lovely Napa cabbage today and some bok choy, but I mean, if you had purple cabbage, you could use that, or regular <gasps> cabbage. But the Napa cabbage is really, really nice. You know my friend Chani? Yes. You should see when she makes bok choy. Is it delish? Oh, oh, man. Really? She makes it with this light soya sauce Ooh. and a bit of tamari sauce and some ginger, fresh ginger. Oh. Sounds good. You know, because I'm not a very big vegetable eater. I know I should eat more. You should eat more. You I might, might grow. grown a bit taller <laughs> if you had it. I might grow. Would no. you want to grow now, though, so late in life? Yeah, I would. Aren't you quite used to being diminutive? Well, I'm not diminutive, do it's you think? It's really formed who you are, though. Yes. You know, because being that small in the world, full of large people, <laughs> it, must, it must have made you see things a bit differently. Oh, yeah. yeah did I it? Did. I had to really take my stand in the world. Did you? Yeah. And when did you start doing that? Just oh. out of curiosity. Um, when, I, when I was two. Oh, really? Yeah. When you were two at nursery school? Yeah. Something like that. Now, I have a trivia question for my good friend Kenny Kay before right. we go to the break. I'm perking up a bit. Uh, I want to ask Kenny Kay who wrote the 1960s huge um, smash book, excuse me, oh, uh, Valley of the Dolls. I thought you were Valley gonna, of the Dolls. I thought you were going to ask me something about a musical or something. No, I'm not. Or the Rainbow Stage or wherever you go. And no. no, I'm not going to ask you about that. But when we get back from the break, Kenny Caustic, he might I know. answer it. He I might know. answer it. He might get it. I know it. that one. Okay, good. And welcome back to What's for Dinner. I'm just chopping up my vegetables to saute. I've got my wonderful sauce simmering. Oh, it's And as yummy. I said, you can use this later as a pasta sauce. Oh, right. Yeah. Okay, wasn't listening. And, Miss Eustace, what are you doing? What I'm going to do is repeat the trivia question for my good friend Kenny Moo. Kay. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I couldn't help. Moo. Would I be a dairy cow or a beef cow? Dairy. Dairy, yeah. I think so. I think dairy yeah. too. I think I'd make some very nice Edam and Gouda. <laughs> <laughs> Don't you? I want to repeat the trivia question for Kenny Kay. What 1960s author wrote the pot boiler, uh, uh, Valley of the Dolls? For sure, you have so read this, because this is like one book you would okay, read. Okay, I, I, I know this. Now, I want to know the prize first before I do this. This spoon. No, uh, no, I'm not. I don't want that spoon. And I don't want 
<laughs> a quart of milk. <laughs> How about a liter? <laughs> okay. Okay. Jacqueline Suzanne. I knew you'd know that. I so knew see? you'd know that. You see, I think our viewers should look how I'm trying to make the little guy look better this year. I'm Thank really you. there for him because I just feel so bad about myself that I'm going <laughs> to pump his... Well, Baby, okay. you shouldn't feel bad about yourself. Well, whatever. You know. You know? Pregnant women are beautiful. They are. They totally are. When I was pregnant, I was beautiful. You were bloated. I, had, I did have a <laughs> bloating problem, didn't I? <laughs> you still do. Now, what I'm doing is I'm going to get my um, colander, Kenny. Yeah. And because I've marinated my shrimps for quite a while, when we roll them in the breadcrumbs, we don't want them to be icky and too soggy. So what we're going to do is we're going to drain out the marinade. Icky. Icky. Icky, That's icky. A good word. Yeah. We're just going to shake off the excess marinade so our shrimps won't be too liquidy. So we'll give that a few minutes for them to do that. Right. Is that an irritating noise? It is. Please. That's actually a cow love call. <laughs> <laughs> My friend Boris is waiting for me outside now. <laughs> <clears throat> oh, that boy, they were really skimpy on the, uh, <laughs> the little soup stock thing. I think I need some more. See, look at all the marinade that I drained out, but I've still um, maintained <coughs> and retained um, most of the, the good, uh, oh, what am I trying to say, sesame seeds. And still the taste and the color of our marinade, but we've gotten rid of the excess moisture. i got to tell you something. What, baby? <clears throat> I, I, the smell of the sesame oil yep. is driving me Wild? Crazy. Is it okay I put my bowl there? I need I to find, know. I find sesame oil a very kind of erotic. Erotic? Thing. Yeah. Really? Yeah, I do. Me too. You know, like... Oh, see, all... that was a problem I knew as soon as I put it. That was a problem. Oh, d just leave it. Just leave it. I will deal with that later. I'll deal with it later. Don't worry. You know what? These things happen. <laughs> oh, sorry. These things happen. Can, you, can I just put no, that there for no. one second? Just for one second. Okay, now what I've done is I've got my, um, my breadcrumbs here, and I'm going to get some tin foil. If it's in the budget, I don't know, we didn't have it last time. Do we still have some? No, I, I can't guarantee there's tin foil in there. <laughs> yep, we got some, Kenny oh, Kay. Okay. So I'm going to line my pan with tin foil. Bake my shrimps for 12 to 15 minutes at 375 degrees. Right. Right? Right. Now, I'm going to start layering because I... Oh, got my broccoli. See, okay. that's because you put that dish there, that thing. That thing roux. Yeah, the colander. The colander. In goes the broccoli. I'm going to do something else now, I think. And what we do is we gently saute our vegetables so they're nice and tender but not overcooked. And we do a layer of the li Right. A layer. Uh, you're very noisy today, dear. I'm... A layer of the lasagna uh, noodles. Then we do some tomato sauce, some vegetables, ricotta cheese, and then we repeat the whole process. Look at, <laughs> we repeat the Whoa, whole process. What format are you using today for your dish? <laughs> you like that word when I use when format. When you use format. Now, these are butterfly big out? ones. These are big shrimps, man. Did that freak you out it when did. I used the word format? When you had sort of a vocabulary stretch? My, my neighbor, Jill, she taught me that word. Format? Yeah. It's very impressive, sir. Yeah. You've come a long way. I have. Haven't you? Absolutely. There. Okay. And I'm still on TV. You are. It's, <laughs> you've actually got some, some Shimada stuff on your glasses you might want to. You've got some crap on your lenses. Oh, it's just a little bit of broccoli. <laughs> is that what it is? <laughs> Don't so worry I, about it. I actually have um, multi-diverse shrimps today. I've got some big honkin' ones and some teensy-weensy ones, which Whoa. is okay. Yeah. So I'm just covering you know, them. No, sizes and everything, you know. It, I mean, it, <laughs> Who ever told you that? <laughs> Who told you that? Especially your mother? <laughs> <laughs> she lied. Stop. She lied. Stop. Helen's coming here, you know. Is she really? Yeah, and she has a few words for you. Because you, t she's found out through the grapevine, she's been watching the shows, that you said she looked like Pearl. I did say that. Yeah. Well, uh -huh. she does. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, oh. She does. Oh, she's going to, you're barking up the wrong tree there. I know. Oh, she going to yeah. wear steel-toed boots? Yeah. I, I, her I, grabs? I feel sorry for you. <laughs> okay, so. Were you scared of your mother as a child? Oh, yeah. <clears throat> Totally. Oh, oh, yeah. Are you taller than her or are you the same size? I, I am taller, okay? <laughs> I am taller. All right. Well, it was just a question. Do you Gee. want to do the tip of the day or would you like the big girl to no, do it? No, I think you should do the t tip of the day. <laughs> oh, no, I, I think I might be able to do it. Do you want to try? Yeah. Uh, if, you're, if you're thawing out shrimp, yes. don't use water because they'll fray, start getting crumbly. Right. Let them thaw naturally. In the fridge, exactly. Did I do that right? And you know why that happens? Oh, no. 
Okay, oh no. Because the water, what it'll do is it, they'll freeze at different, uh, different sort of temperatures. So you want to have like a unified temperature. Oh, yes. You know, so yes, it, yes. And it'll, it'll waterlog the shrimps as well. Right. So a layer of noodles. Okay, you were Some really tomato sauce. about that. Yeah. You know, that tip came from my friend Chris. That's the biggest shrimp I've there ever we go. seen in Look. my entire life. There we go. Oh, a okay. layer of tomato sauce. We mix, 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 mix. Is that mix, cottage mix. cheese? It is. Low fat cottage cheese. Okay. And. I, I need something here. What do you need, hon? I need... Okay. Oh, what are you using? A layer? Safety in the kitchen. Okay. And in goes some vegetables, a layer of vegetables. Okay. And then I put on just a little bit of ricotta cheese. Excellent. And then another layer. And I just keep doing that, doing that, doing okay, that. Okay, how many times are you going to do it? Well, uh, until I run out of the <laughs> 12. Um, 12? Noodles. Oh, okay, I see. Do you need... Are you, okay, never mind. What? Nothing. Drop it, drop it, drop it, Ron, drop it, Ron. You could have used a slightly bigger pan, but I'm sure uh, you've that before. You know what? I, I could have. Yeah. I could have, but that's, you know... A choice that you made? I, uh, yeah. Okay. Now, what I've done is I have covered my shrimps in the bread crumb, bread crumb mixture yes. and uh, with the delicious marinade, and I'm just going to put this in the oven for about 12 to 15 big ones. And then? And then? I, gonna, I'm going oh. to do the viewer mail. No, you're not. Yes, I am. I uh, know you're not. Somebody, uh, I got it from a higher authority than you. Than no, I'm doing you're not going to do it. I did. No. <sighs> Dear you're defined, Mary you Joe. are defined. <laughs> authority? Yes. Will I be out of a job? Yes. Yeah, and it soon. won't be the first time. Dear Ken and Mary Jo, I think your show is truly wonderful. The dishes are simple but delicious, and the show is most entertaining. Keep up the fabulous work. Sincerely, Suzanne. It was Aww. a long one. That's a nice letter. That's a very nice letter, though, Suzanne. Straightforward to the point. That's and she'd right. also like some recipes, and of course, we'll address that. So thank you. Very nice. See? Very nice. We get some very, very nice viewer mail. We do, don't we? We get some. Not so nice. <laughs> but hey, you know what? It's part of being on TV. It's part of being on the tuber. <laughs> now I've got my shrimp uh, cooking in the oven. I'm going to uh, make a quick little dressing for my cabbage salad. And yeah. I might go outside and take a look at the weather, see if the girls are still lying down. But when we get back from the break oh, and what's for dinner, oh, we're oh. going to rock and roll here totally. I'm putting Candy. this in the oven. Okay, layer, baby, layer. to what's for dinner. I'm just making the dressing for my shrimp salad. I've got some lime juice and tamari, coconut, honey, fresh basil, and olive oil. So that will be delicious. Oh, yeah. We'll toss it in here, top with the shrimps and some peanuts and bean sprouts. Do you want me to chop your basil for you? Yes, I do. Thank you. There you I'm go. I'm here for you. You totally are. Okay, so I've just read this one out and we've got lots of beautiful juice. I'm going to put in my I tamari. I have to tell you, you are the queen of salad dressings. I really love salads. You know, you come up with the best salad dressings. Do you think I do? Now, I, please, I need some encouragement. Okay. I'm the soup queen. Yes, Totally. Thank you. you are thank you. so good at soup. Thank you. And very nice with vegetable dishes, I have right. to say. Okay. No, you are, completely. But you, your salad dressings are wonderful. Well, I like them light you and fresh. You can take anything and make anything out of it. It's... Why are you buttering me up? Because the heifer no comment. You feel a bit bad about that. <laughs> okay, here comes Mabel. Thank you. <laughs> Kenny No, Kay. I know. I'm just teasing, baby. Are you? Yeah. A little bit. I'm having a little fun. Are you? Well, as long as I'm not a beef cow. No. Now, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go over here, and I'm going to pull out my crispy shrimps. And uh, I think they're going to be quite nice. They've been in the oven for about... Tw Willie, is everything okay? <laughs> Wilbur's checking the china. He's very meticulous. He is. Now, oh, oh, Kenny K. Oh, oh, oh. That's going to go on top of our bok choy. Doesn't oh, that look delicious? Do you delicioso? want me to put that there? Or Can you put the dressing on in? the. Um, thank you so much. And mix it? Yes. Okay. I'll, I'll mix, mix it if you want to go get your lasagna. Okay, okay. Just I've, one. Got some, I, I'll, I've got some go. tongers. There you go. Thank you, sir. Excellent. Uh, okay. okay, yeah, I know you don't like that. I know you're, you're uncomfortable with that. And we'll put that on the platter. And then I'm going to top it with the shrimp. Oh, oh, yeah, there. oh, I have happened? to tell you, those shrimp Don't they look are good? doing something for me. Are they, baby? Whoa. There, moon oh, look River. There we go. Placing my shrimps, and they're nice and warm from the oven with the sesame there and the go. tamari on top. Look at Whoa. That. Does that not just that spend you? That looks delicious. Send you into a spin? Did you put a little parmesan on top I, of that? I did. You know what? I put a, a little bit of 
low-fat mozzarella cheese. Yes. And a little bit of Parmesan, and I'm just going to garnish with some greenery. I just did some nuts and some bean sprouts. I'm going to recap on what's oh, for dinner. Our, oh. our peanuts and crispy we shrimp hard. salad, our low-fat delicious lasagna. We had so much fun. Cow jokes and all. See you next time on What's for Dinner. See ya. I'll be here out to pasture. Okay, bye. Bye. bye.